even I was on YouTube, I told a friend of mine that I said, man, I'd rather make 50,000 online than make 60,000 in the States. <laughs> Easy. Because that little 10 grand Easy. is going to get eight up in America. You Easy. know? Easy. I tell people that I would, I would t- me personally, I would take 50 grand online over 150,000 in the States. I was gonna I was Easy. gonna say that. I was down. gonna say that, but I was like, nah, let me not go too far. I wanna, you know, keep it. Yeah, I would. But yeah, you absolutely first right. of all, absolutely right. The, the, the your fifty thousand basically in South America is already worth, and depending on where you are, it's already mm-hmm. worth between Fact. seventy to a hundred and fifty thousand anyway. Like a fifty thousand here is 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 two hundred thousand uh, dollars because it's multiplied by four. So you're walking away with two hundred thousand dollars if you're making fifty thousand and living in Colombia itself. So why would I why would I lose fifty thousand dollars to live at one hundred and fifty thousand in the mm-hmm. states? Because I'm losing out if I stay in the states just to make the one hundred and fifty thousand and get killed on the taxes. And but because you have a, a lot of people don't know if you don't live in the United States for over three hundred and thirty days of the year, you have what's called a federal tax exemption to where you file your regular taxes, but if you make a less than one hundred and eight thousand dollars a year in profits or whether it be in wages, you're you're tax free. So now I get my whole at least out of the one hundred and fifty, I get one hundred and eight thousand of it tax free. Mm-hmm. All I have to do is file the exemption form with my regular tax form. So mm-hmm. while you're still paying taxes for your one hundred and fifty thousand to live in the states, I get if I just make fifty thousand. It's tax free. That's what's up. <laughs> so real quick, man, you know, I got to play devil's advocate. You know, you've been married right uh, you said for a couple of years. Right. You've been yeah. in, in the relationships uh, out there in Colombia. Now, some would say yeah. that she's only dating you for a green card. What would you what, how would you <laughs> answer that? <laughs> uh, my wife doesn't want to live in the United States. She's just like many women around the world that look at the United States like it's a nice place to visit. But she's like, I'm not doing those work hours. I'm not about to do 46 on average, 50 work hours a week. I'm not about to Mm -hmm. sit back and have a family, but never see my family because it's too expensive to Mm -hmm. take care of the family. So she's like, it's not economically. It's not worth it. This is the other thing that a lot of people that use the green card excuse. And I, I, I give this this story to everybody that's used the green card excuse. They don't realize as an ex college recruiter that used to work with students trying to get into college from other countries, a lot of their education that they work so hard for, they have to throw that away. My wife is like, I'm not about to give up an accountant career to go do nails or work in a, in a, in a hotel in the United States. I work Mm -hmm. too hard for my education here to throw Mm -hmm. a career away to live in the United States doing somebody's nails and somebody's toes. So, a lot of women don't re- a lot of people that make that green card statement don't realize most women don't want to leave because they built a strong foundation of a career mm-hmm. in their home country. Women in South America are extremely family oriented. Even though we're talking about moving to Europe, you know, really soon, we've had to have strong conversations on okay, what time of the years are we going to go back? Okay. This is the time we're going to go back for two or three months. Okay. Do we, we need to have a piece of property here in Colombia? So we'll always have a place to come back to here. And then, you know, you always have to take in the factor that family is going to be, mom and dad is going to get older. What about this? What about that? Because everything centers around family. All your decisions is centered around family in Colombia. So you don't just say, well, I married an American and we're moving to America. A lot of Colombians don't. And a lot of people that I've seen that live in other countries Women aren't as eager as people think to live in the United States. In concerns of brothers looking for love, you know, trying to find genuine relationships mm-hmm. overseas in Colombia, do you have any tips you can kind of give them to attract the right woman over there? Uh, you can pregame online through uh, a lot of the the app the apps like Colombian Cupid, Latin Cupid, Tinder. You can pregame. But don't claim until you get here. I know a lot of guys that meet the ladies online and they claim them as they I always, you know, I do consultations. And when dudes have not been here yet, I'm like, that's not your girlfriend. Well, we've been talking for the I said, that's not your girl. I break your buzz. I bust your bubble and I bust your head fast before she does it. 
Right, right. You see what I'm saying? I would rather bust your head with the truth before she busts your head when you get off that plane. So the mm -hmm. first bit of advice is until you land on that plane, that is not get off that plane. That's not your boo. Second thing is I've taken guys out that have said that they met women uh, before they got here. I got my pregame ready, Dre. I'm set. I got this one or two that I really like. And then they get here and they see all these Cali curves walking around. And all of a sudden, that person who they really wanted and was talking that good game about, I've been talking to her online for a year. They never even meet that person because they met four <laughs> or five people coming all the time, dude. Uh, secondly, uh, stop. Don't be thirsty. One thing about Colombian women, I've heard them say it a lot. They they don't like thirsty dudes. They, mm -hmm. they do not. They they are attracted to you for you, but as soon as they 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 sense the energy of you being thirsty, because you know you only here for a few days or a week or two. If if you come across like hurry up hurry up give me you know give me what i want they're like they, they're you know they're, they 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 close up they become shy and so at the end of the day you know the party girls they don't care but i'm talking about real girls or real women that you probably look for something that's more serious they don't like thirsty dudes so number two don't be thirsty i had to tell a dude that last night we're in a club it's the three of us dudes we're in the, we're in the salsa club this dude he was in the same situation came down here to meet somebody we I took him out. Mm -hmm. We spent the whole night bumping his dude's shoulder because he would be staring so hard at certain women. I'm like, dude, bump old boy, man. He just he come across yeah. creepy thirsty. Number mm -hmm. three, be comfortable enough to be yourself because Colombian women think a man that tries to just be enjoying himself is attractive. You can't dance, get on the dance floor. They just love to teach you stuff. You oh, never had Agua Dente. You try Agua Dente for the first time. Mm. They just love um they, they are attracted to a man that tries. Is your Spanish bad? Let it be bad for right now. As long as you're mm -hmm. trying. Colombian mm -hmm. women love the fact of a man. They think trying is sexy. That's sexy mm -hmm. to them. A man that's at least trying. He's not in the corner with his arms folded, or he's not trying to be a New York thug in Colombia. This Colombia is not New York. You ain't got to be like that. Fellas, don't forget to check out the Black Man Travels merch store where you can purchase BMT t-shirts, tank tops, travel quote tees, and much more. Stay travel motivated, my friends. Join the movement. Hey, family, if you want to connect with your fellow travelers around the globe and get early access to content as well as private events and merch store discounts, then make sure you join the private Black Man Travels 2.0 Facebook group. 